वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट सो नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन वॉट इज अ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इट इज समथिंग मैजिकल इट इज अबाउट अ मैजिक स्क्वायर सो इन अ मैजिक स्क्वायर ईच रो ईच कॉलम एंड डायग्नल हैव द सेम सम एंड वी आर गिवन हेयर टू मैजिक बॉक्सेस मैजिक स्क्वायर्स वी हैव टू चेक वेदर दे आर मैजिक स्क्वायर्स और नॉट लेट्स चेक इट इट वुड बी इंटरेस्टिंग here 5 plus minus 1 plus minus 4 so here we'll calculate each row and column and then see whether their sum is same or different then we'll get to know that it is a magic square or not so let's continue here so first 5 minus 1 minus 4 so here we'll calculate them Five minus minus. We'll first add both the minus digits. So minus four and minus one becomes five. That is minus five and five minus five is equals to zero. So here we get zero. Now here five minus five plus zero. It is clearly zero. We are doing some okay it is clear in question it is mentioned that we have to add them or we have to do the sum of them here minus 5 plus minus 2 minus minus becomes plus so 5 plus 2 7 but it will be minus 7 as the sign is of negative and minus 7 plus 7 this will also be zero here 3 minus 3 0 clear Now in this here minus four and minus three. First we'll take the digits that are in minus minus four and minus three four five six seven. This became minus seven minus seven in plus seven zero. Here two plus one three y plus because both are in minus and minus minus becomes plus. So minus two and minus one is equals to minus three, and this is plus three. Minus three plus three becomes zero. Minus three plus three is equals to zero. So here we have seen that the sum of the rows and columns is same. Now we will check the sum of the diagonals. Now in diagonal, let us write what the values we are having. So in diagonal we are having. Five plus minus two plus minus three, and in another diagonal we are having minus four plus minus two plus zero. Now we'll check that whether the our sum comes zero or not. Now here five plus minus two plus minus three. First we'll take both the values that are having minus. And minus minus will become here plus. So five plus minus five. This is coming zero. Yes. Now we have to check this diagonal whether the sum of this will be zero or not. This will decide whether this square is a is a magic square or not. So minus four plus minus two minus six plus zero is equal to minus six. So here this is not a magic square. As this diagonal sum is not equal to zero, so this is how you check whether the square is a magic square or not. Okay, I have checked first square for you. Second, you will do it yourself, and then tell me in comment section whether it is a magic square or not. Now let's see our eighth question. Now question number eight. In question number eight, it is saying. Verify a minus minus b is equals to a plus b for the following values of a and b. That is, we have to see that by putting the values of a and b both on LHS and RHS, we get the same answer or not. Let's see how we'll do this. First of all, we'll take left hand side. That is LHS. So here, left hand side is a minus minus b, a minus minus b. So we'll put the values of a and b. 
So here is twenty one. Twenty one minus minus b is eighteen. Now twenty one minus minus becomes plus eighteen. Now twenty one plus eighteen twenty plus ten thirty thirty eight plus one thirty nine. So here the LHS we are getting is thirty nine. Now let's see whether the RHS is also thirty nine or not. So RHS is equals to A plus B, A plus B. Now A we are having is twenty one, B is eighteen. So twenty plus ten thirty, thirty plus eight thirty eight plus one. Thirty-nine. So yes, LHS and RHS here are equal. So you will write LHS is equals to RHS. This is how we verify certain values for the given statements. Now let us see second example, second part of this question. We'll take LHS first. LHS is A minus minus B. A here is one hundred eighteen, so one hundred eighteen minus minus B here is one twenty five, so one hundred eighteen minus minus becomes plus one twenty five. We let them hundred hundred plus hundred two hundred two hundred twenty two hundred thirty two thirty eight plus five. That is two forty three. Or you can add it simply as convenient to you, like this: eight plus five thirteen three one carry two one three one plus one four one plus one two. Now let us check for right hand side. Right hand side, we are having a plus b. Now we'll put the values. A here is one hundred eighteen. Plus B is one twenty five. Simply we'll add them. Eight plus five thirteen. Three one carry two three plus one four. One plus one two two forty three. LHS is equals to RHS. So here the condition is satisfied. So this is how you will solve these questions. First two parts I have solved for you. Rest two parts you will solve it and answer that whether they verify this condition or not in comment section. Do subscribe and like my channel if you find it helpful. Please share with the students who need it. Thank you.